Today on Munson Made This, we are making pumpkin spiced ramen. Yeah, you heard me right in the intro. We are making a pumpkin spiced ramen. And if you haven't watched my last video yet where I show you how to cook spaghetti squash, you're going to want to pause this video right now and go ahead and watch that video because it shows you how to prepare the spaghetti squash so that we can use it today as the noodles in this pumpkin spiced ramen. Now this dish has this incredible complex flavor which is a little bit confusing at first, but it becomes very craveable after your first bite. So uh, again, it's going to be this pumpkin spiced broth with the uh, spaghetti squash noodles, and then I'm going to make a char siu, char siu uh, shiitake mushroom to go with that as well. So stick around and I'll show you how to make this broth. This broth is super easy. You just kind of dump a bunch of ingredients in there and then bring it to a simmer. Already here I have four cups of broth, which is essentially just water and some no chicken better than bouillon. So this pumpkin spice broth is of course going to have some pumpkin in it. So I have a half cup of pumpkin puree. This is just from a can. Uh, it is not pumpkin pie mix. It is just roasted organic pumpkin from a can. So that goes in there. Um, to that, I'm needing two tablespoons of Bragg's and I'm just going to eyeball that. A couple of dashes of sesame oil. That looks good. I'm going to need some pumpkin pie spice and I'm just gonna use about a half teaspoon of this. Now, the reason I think this dish works with this pumpkin pie spice, even though you're thinking, wait, you've got chicken broth here or vegan chicken broth, you've got pumpkin, pumpkin spice, how is this going to work? Well, the pumpkin pie spice that I'm stirring in here is very similar to say like a Chinese five spice. So it's got ginger and clove and it just has a really nice warming flavor that doesn't really read um, pumpkin or spice bread. It definitely adds to sort of the uh, Asian flavors of this dish. All right, so to that, I'm going to add two cloves of garlic that I'm just going to grate. And already just the addition of those spices, it just smells like fall in here, but it also smells like ramen. If you grate it with your microplane, make sure to get all of the garlic off the back. And I'm going to add some fresh grated ginger to this as well. And you can use whatever kind of broth you would like for this. I like the no chicken better than bouillon, but if you had your homemade vegetable stock, if you wanted something lower sodium, you could definitely use that as well. And then I'm going to add just a bit of maple syrup. The sweetness just kind of brings up a lot of the flavors. Not too much. And then the last thing I'm going to add here is some soy milk. And this just helps to make the broth nice and creamy and rich. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the stove, bring it up to a simmer, and then it's pretty much ready to go. All right, I have my ramen here, or my uh, broth, excuse me, here on the stove, and I'm just going to bring this up to a simmer and then it can hang out until we're ready to use it. But what I wanna focus on now is the char siu shiitake, which is a really hard thing to say. Basically, it's like a Chinese barbecue pork. So what I have here are four shiitake mushrooms, and I'm just going to put them into a cast iron pan with a weight. If you don't have a cast iron pan or you don't have a weight like this, um, you can definitely just use two pans and sandwich them in there. The point of this is that we want the shiitakes to become sort of nice and flat and caramelized, and then we're going to cover them in a Chinese style barbecue sauce. So, got the pan here just on medium heat, and uh, I've got the weight on here, and I'm just gonna let this hang out until it smells nice and fragrant, and then I'll go ahead and flip it up and uh, continue, or flip it over and continue to let it press. So, um, while these things come up to temperature here and cook, I am going to prepare the sauce that goes on the mushrooms. While my mushrooms cook on the stove behind me, I'm going to prepare the barbecue sauce that's going to go on those. And I don't want to put the sauce on them before I 
put them on the stove just because the sauce does have maple syrup in it and uh, it'll get too caramelized there on the stove. So I just added a tablespoon of Bragg's liquid aminos. To stay in the fall theme, I'm adding a tablespoon of maple syrup. Strange ingredient, but it works really well here, is a tablespoon, can you hear that sizzling behind me? If I can get it out. A tablespoon of ketchup. And this is just your basic organic Heinz ketchup. We're gonna call that a tablespoon. And then we're gonna put a teaspoon of hoisin sauce. Looks about good. And the last thing, again, this, this normally calls for a five spice powder, but we're just going to use probably an eighth of a teaspoon maybe of that pumpkin pie spice. And then just go ahead and stir this together. And what's gonna happen here is that once the mushrooms are seared and nice on both sides, we're going to paint this on the mushrooms and let them broil for a minute just so this gets nice and caramelized on the surface without it like sticking or burning to a pan. The mushrooms are really fragrant. They've been in here for maybe about four minutes and I'm going to go ahead and flip those over. You can see that they're nice and caramelized. And I didn't add any oil to this pan at all. So I'm just gonna let this go for another couple of minutes and then we'll sauce them up. The mushrooms have seared on both sides and now I'm just going to paint them fairly generously with this barbecue sauce that we made. And if you didn't wanna go through this two-step process, you could essentially just marinate the mushrooms with this sauce on it and broil it. I like to do the process where you sandwich them in between two heavy things and, and put them on the stove just because I think that it just, uh, it just gives it a really incredible texture. It just kind of condenses everything and compacts everything and it just has a really nice meaty texture. So, um, all right, I'm just gonna throw this in the oven on the broil setting and uh, I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. It'll probably go for a couple of minutes and then I will flip them over and uh, sauce up the other side and they should be ready to go. All right, so they are caramelized on one side. I just wanna go ahead and flip them over and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just baste them with the sauce and then put them back in the broiler. I would say they're probably in there maybe about four minutes or so. You really wanna keep an eye on them. It's not something to walk away from. All right, let's throw them back in the broiler. And then when these are done, we're ready to assemble our ramen. My mushrooms are done. Took them out of the broiler. They're just hanging out behind me. And now it is time to assemble this incredible ramen. Now I didn't want to overpower this dish with too many extra things just because the broth itself is so interesting and you have this spaghetti squash in there and everything. So uh, kind of a, a simple preparation here. So uh, let's start to assemble. I have in this bowl half of a spaghetti squash and this is from the uh, last video. And as you can see, really nice threads. So I'm just gonna add a pretty generous helping of these to my ramen bowl. And um, these are still a little bit warm, but it, you could always, um, if you're just kind of making this for yourself, just, just throw the noodles into the broth and warm them that way. Um, you could I don't know, warm them in a microwave for a couple of minutes or even just you know put them in some boiling water for, I don't know, just a couple of seconds to warm them through before putting them in the broth. So. There are our spaghetti romp noodles. And our broth is finished here. It smells so amazing. You can smell all the components. You can smell the pumpkin. You can smell all of the individual spices. It's just a beautiful broth. So I'm just gonna spoon a bunch of this into my bowl. And just to top it off here, I'm going to add um, one of my char siu mushrooms. Actually, let's go ahead and add two. And then I'm going to top this off with some green onions that I just chopped up. And the last thing are these pumpkin spiced tamari pumpkin seeds, which I will link a recipe to below. So there you pretty much have it. It's our pumpkin spiced ramen with spaghetti squash noodles.
I'm so ready to eat these. The kitchen has smelled amazing for the entire time that we've been uh, making this. And again, just look at these noodles. Come on, like this is spaghetti squash. It's, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, just look at these noodles. They look amazing. So uh, I'm gonna give it a taste. Mm. You're supposed to slurp your ramen, so. Now, if you're expecting this to be exactly like a rice noodle or a, a wheat noodle, it's not like that. It definitely has some texture, but it is so good. And the squash that is the noodles definitely like pairs well with the squash that's in the broth, which I'm gonna go ahead and taste that. It's so complex, like, it's got a sweetness and it's savory and the spices come through. You literally taste every single component that's in there and it's so good. Um, this char siu shiitake is just a nice, you know, bite. And that flavor is incredible too. Just a nice meaty charred texture and bite to go along with the rest of this dish though. Mm. It's so good. So even if you're not gonna make the spaghetti squash, definitely make this fall inspired ramen broth. It is next level or just make the spaghetti squash. Again, watch that video where I show you how to get noodles like this. Like this is insane. This is perfection. So uh, watch that video when I show you how to create these perfect spaghetti squash noodles. And uh, subscribe to this channel if you have not yet already. Like this video if you like it, share it with all of your friends and uh, definitely hit that bell to make sure that you are notified when I release new videos. Ideally, these full recipe videos come out on Monday and then I'll have shorter content coming out on Thursdays. That's the idea. So get in the kitchen, make this amazing fall inspired pumpkin spice ramen. I promise you will not regret it. So I'm just gonna sit here and cuddle up with this bowl, even though it's still like 75 degrees outside. I'm gonna cuddle with this nice warm bowl of spicy broth and spaghetti squash noodle. So have a great week. I will see you next time with another recipe video. And uh, I'm definitely gonna do one more spaghetti squash video coming up. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, so I'm gonna dig in.